Hello there, just wanted to give you a quick video on this, which is my Denon D&HD 2500. Um, my unit's about two and a half years old, it's outside of warranty, and unfortunately developed quite a major fault, uh, which is really frustrating, but I um, managed to get it fixed, so I thought I'd put this up on YouTube, so if you've got one of these, you experience problems, something similar to what I experience, then hopefully you can learn and uh, post below any comments or any other ideas, so we can get some sort of information together to help the uh, people out there who may have problems with this unit. Um, mine's been good as gold. absolutely love this bit of kit. I think it's fantastic. I carry it in a flight case as my mobile DJ setup and it's been great. So can't fault down stuff. It's built like tanks, but this particular one did fail. Um, I had two problems. I'd turn the unit on, the hard drive would validate on either decks and on the left hand side, what it would do would be like that. The parameter would continue to keep pushing. It would load the very first track it could find onto the deck and no matter how much you went back it would not let you load anything else other than that one song which is quite frustrating. Um, other times you turn it on it would validate the hard drive be, uh, behaving itself so you go pick a song that you want to play load it onto the deck it would queue up push play and uh, it would be like someone was doing this it would stutter or if it would play, this light here would stutter occasionally, the, the song would jump, it was like someone was interfering with the jog dial. Um, and what I did find as well was that once this was plugged into a big PA system and playing at volume, the sound vibrations from the bass would interfere with the jog as well, so just horrible, horrible. Um, uh, the other thing is, as soon as you scratch, especially down this area, for on well, my particular unit anyway, it would either be a dead zone or it, the track would literally stop, you'd take your finger off, the song would stop, nothing you could do, you could push it on, it would scratch, but it wouldn't continue to play, it just got worse and worse and worse, so um, I thought, what the heck, this thing's out of warranty, um, I've got nothing to lose, I normally work on laptops and Macs and things like that, so I'm quite confident with taking things apart, um, so powered the unit off, and uh, had a look at the job dials. Used a hex key, in this case it's a 1.3 size and on here you'll find there's a small hex key inside there so take that off. Take off uh, the platter, there's about five different types of discs under here, keep them in order, keep them facing upwards uh, and don't muck them up or else you'll get confused. I swapped both sides over and as soon as I've done that, put it back together Powered it back on and the problem transferred from here onto here, so I knew it was something to do with the platters. Um, once you take these off, what you find underneath is this little bugger, and this is a um, like a brass plated pickup sensor, and there's four Phillips screws as you can see, and you literally take those out, pull the unit up, flip it over, and there's a data cable that goes in there. There's no uh, catch or anything, just literally pushes in and out and uh, again I swapped this from one side to another and the problem went wherever I put this faulty bit of kit. So I went to a company called CJ, sorry, CHS which is Charles Hyde and Son uh, they're the official dead and importer of parts and hey presto you one came in the post, fitted it, the unit's back up and running so I hope that helps someone out there who has problems um, got two of these in the post and it cost £31.81B. Happy days!